Two friends. Another morning, but this time it's solo. Sit back, relax, and laugh at the mindless conversations Josh and Dakota have. Welcome to a mindless morning show solo episode. Good morning. Good mindless morning, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I figured I'd try something new, damn it. Um, so, yeah, good morning. Um, afternoon. Good practice. You should practice it next time. Yeah, I, I really should. I really should. Damn. So, uh, I, po- yeah. I apologize for that, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Yeah, Dakota's my handler. He he was he should have told me, go practice in front of a mirror first. And he didn't. It's Dakota's fault. I didn't have enough time. He just jumped right into it didn't say a word and shot it at everybody yeah sorry um i was just as shocked as everybody else i'm getting so mindless um so yeah we we we, uh so we we oh man we we got our anniversary out of the way a whole year well I, i guess more so for for me not so much you dakota but You've been yeah. you've been a very integral part of it. I mean, you, you're helping keep it alive and, and going, so that that's awesome. I mean, I try. I do what I can on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't even. Man, I should have counted how many episodes uh, we, we've done together uh, previously to kind of figure out out of the hundred episodes too. Because yeah, we we hit quite a few milestones. We did our year anniversary, hundred episodes. So I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you were close to a good twenty five percent or more of that. So yeah. Yeah, well, we, we, we can call it that and say it's good. Yeah, so little, little clappy clap. Um, yeah, I'll but, uh, yeah, so since uh, our, our last solo episode was actually our anniversary highlight reel, we didn't mention the or announce a mashup. Now, last, yeah, yeah last mashup, we did have a comment from the West London Rich, uh, the West Rich. London Witch. Rich. <laughs> um, she we actually we have had her rebecca struzina struzina go find her you can find it um it's good great episode um so yeah she recommended to us that we do garfield and Minnie mouse and yep. we decided we're uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna go with that yeah we're so gonna do it. We're, we're gonna make a something really garfield we're either gonna make garfield really cute or just something so fucking terrifying i don't know if i can make anything cute (laughs) i mean i was i was proud of my last one i'm not gonna lie your your piccolo was good yeah i i i uh i tried i tried hard it was was good you're getting better man Uh, practice makes perfect I just got Tell lucky. Me. It was an easier one. <laughs> Telling you, man, you got got to let me teach you Inkscape. You'll love it so much. I, I don't have time for that, man. <laughs> well, either way, it's going to be a uh, really very interesting mashup. You just need to stop cheating and actually draw one. Like draw, draw, hand draw. Yeah, like draw, draw, like a real person. Not a I, 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 I suck at drawing. I mean, yeah, I so could, do I. You've seen my drawings. <laughs> I mean, I could try, I guess. I just, I have so much more fun doing digital art. Anyways, so that's what, we're, that's, what we're, that's what we're doing for the next one. Garfield and Minnie Mouse should be fun. Should be fun. Uh, our guest episode Friday that's coming up is going to be a really good one. Um, it's going to be be a pretty raunchy one i'm just gonna put that out there now because uh it is a good friend of mine who uh, i know mine. wait yeah. no josh my josh is good friend of josh <laughs> I, I don't even know what just <laughs> <laughs> what uh it's a really good buddy of mine that i went with oh hold on never mind that's not the guy i was thinking of this is josh's guy <laughs> josh's guy um yeah so i mean we got we got a lot coming up with, with that episode because good, good buddy of mine has got a lot of really crazy stories that uh, cause, I mean he, he as well is a flight attendant so he has seen many many things crazy things and uh, I'm excited I'm excited from some of the stuff I've just heard from you already it should be fun yeah no dude the, some of the, the stories he's told me are, are just so 
like straight out of, it seems like straight out of a movie it's so ridiculous <laughs> but it, it, it'll be uh it'll be a good time for sure but yes uh fair warning folks it it's gonna be raunchy it's gonna be good though um <laughs> de- de- definitely funny um yeah i i can't uh can't name the airline or anything like that but uh, you know it is what it is so I, I wanted to ask you dakota if we were to if you were to be a flight attendant, what, what would you like want to do or where would you want to go? What would I want to do besides be a flight attendant? <laughs> no, no. Like, what, I, like, I mean, I guess, uh, cause I, I don't know, like those flight attendants, I get like a lot of different benefits. I get like mm-hmm. a lot of, a lot of free airfare basically. And I mean, they get to travel the world. So like, what are some things you would want to like, where would you want to go and things you would want to do with um, these places? I mean, I've, I've, I want to go to Egypt because I've always just wanted to go to Egypt. So I'd probably take advantage of that for sure. Um, probably like Italy, a bunch of other places that I just want to go. As far as what I want to do, I don't know if I'd want to do it per se, but I feel like you'd be able to be a pretty good like like a drug kingpin or a ringleader in one of those crazy things being a flight attendant, being able to go all over the place, <laughs> have access to all kinds of shit, being able to see, I got eyes in the sky. Eyes in the sky. I mean, you would think that, but I, the employees get gate raped just as much as travelers do by TSA. Like they, they get checked in, like their bags and stuff get looked at as well. Yeah. But if I was like a drug kingpin, I would be smarter than that. <laughs> Duh. Right. So like <laughs> my, you care to bad. elaborate my how bad. you're gonna do it? <laughs> yeah, I would like I'd be like checking in through the gate where the security is and you'd see out the windows like one of my minions or like a dog or something with my bag like running out there already and just putting it on the plane. So I would I'd be good. I'd have my ways, man. Okay. I mean I, I did know a guy who was in the Navy <laughs> who who Baron was Jesus. heat seeking missiles. <laughs> <laughs> There was a guy in the Navy who was a uh, drug kingpin, basically uh, him and his yeah. crew. They would kind of take like those 50 gallon oil drums and Ooh. magnetize it to the bottom of the ships. And oh, as shit. they docked, they, <laughs> they unloaded okay. it. Yeah. All right. See? Yeah. Some, yeah. Some see, there'd be, ways. there'd be, there'd be ways, man. And I, being a, being a drug kingpin and flight attendant, I'd probably be like best friends with some cool scientist guy anyways. So you'd probably have some sick inventions like that shit anyways, you know? Okay. You're like, you're saying you're going for like a Bruce Wayne of drug dealers right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somehow, somehow we got there, but yeah, I guess that's, that's you, you got it's like, a little I'm sick, forming, I'm forming my, my, my drug justice league, my drug justice league. <laughs> drug justice league. Oh shit. That's the name of this one. Drug justice league. <laughs> solid <laughs> um yeah i mean all right cool what about you <laughs> <laughs> well wait you didn't even tell me where you want to go aside from egypt that's the only um, place you care to visit i said italy oh, and yeah. like and then and, you know just other places because i want to travel so i'd fuck i'd go everywhere you know i'd want to at least see everything once <laughs> but like i don't know culture see all the different culture how how shit is works See the, the see how my drugs are doing in each place. <laughs> you know, yeah, you gotta, gotta check the crops. Gotta man. Visit, visit, make connections with anybody and everybody there is, because that's what I would be apparently with my drug stis league going on. Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta show about. face to keep the power. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> yep. How's my uh, Cairo buds doing? Good, good. good. All, right, All right, over cool. here. Cool. Ah, yeah. uh, man, if I were a flight attendant, I mean. I don't, so I, I'm not like a big flyer. I don't really like flying, but if just for entertainment's sake, if I were a flight attendant and enjoyed it. Do you imagine just being the like most terrified flight attendant of every flight? <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, I'd be the worst. I would be like making flyers, like just trap random travelers, like Why panic because I'd be like, guy? <laughs> peanuts, do you want them up here? <laughs> <laughs> do you want these peanuts? This might be your last meal. Do you want something else? I have what no idea what's going to die. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> Sir, that's my drink. You're just fucking chugging all the alcohol. Like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry. There's no more alcohol board um, because I can drink it all um, I, so and also because I don't fly I don't really know how often 
or if I had to be a part of a particular airline to travel internationally. But I would honestly, like just within the States, I would like to see like every landmark possible in, in all 50 States. I mean, honestly, I can just yeah. go to Denver airport and I'll, I'll be set for Colorado. I can check that off my list. See the horse. <laughs> Bro, it's, um, not, it's not that cool. Dude. It's so cool to me. The, the, the story. So I've, dri- so I've, driven, I've driven past it. Like I don't even know hundreds of times at this point. And it's not that cool. The story I mean, is not even like it, it. Yeah, sure, it's a cool story, but it's, it's not, not even that cool. It's not cool for you because, like, you live there, you've seen it. it it's whatever, but like, I yeah, if you're gonna it. go, at least go at night so it looks like the eyes are lit up. Oh hell yeah, no, for sure. I and I, I would like take pictures, like fondling the horse, probably molesting it in some way. Or sh- I'd probably yeah, I take a picture with you, it naked. I don't think I ever saw anybody near the horse. I don't know if you're allowed to. Head would fall probably, again. Yeah, I was gonna say you're probably, <laughs> for now they probably don't let you because that's the fucking shit. Killed the one dude. It's not gonna. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I have I have no idea actually. Uh-oh. Would you Would you want to build finish building that if it killed your dad? Yeah, I mean, if it's something that like he like, okay, so I mean, first off, this guy's dad was like somebody who was an artist somebody who made statues like he did this for a living this was like his his dream job or whatever his hobby or whatever his craft so as a son like if he died doing what he loved and he didn't get to finish his last piece yeah i would definitely want to i want to finish that for him yeah but demonic demon, or not demon horse killed him bro dude demonic or not fuck it i don't know <laughs> you gotta you got to got to bring a little bit of joy to it. Dude, DI is crazy. I know I, I think we talked about it in one of the other episodes where we interviewed somebody and we started talking about it, but man, like those posters and shit are like they're up. The, they're the just new covered, world man. order. Dude, and all like that shit's, shit. shit's nuts. They do that whole conspiracy if you've never watched the conspiracy theories on DIA, man, that shit's like insane and I'm you know, I'm not going to quote anything, but I, I'm pretty sure the, sh- the, 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 the like big ass shit is underneath it for sure. Like, you know, but. Oh yeah. No, there's a whole underground compound uh, under there. Yeah, not dude. sure for what, but. It was supposed uh, to be like a Nazi camp, man. That I did not know. Interesting. I don't know. I don't remember if that was true or not. That's just what, what came out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, aside from that, I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm fucking retarded, so like I don't really know too many of like the landmarks, honestly, in the states. Like, if I had to think of any Statue of Liberty, because I actually I've been to New York like two or three times, never once saw the Statue of Liberty. Mount Rushmore is that one? Mount Rushmore is one. Um, I seen it in pictures, honestly. Like, it's not much different. Pretty crazy horse is dope, dude. That one's even cooler. Crazy horse, what's that? The one next to it that like the Native Americans have been working on and building for the monument of Crazy Horse. Dude, it's dope. Crazy Horse was a guy. He was a person, not a horse. Oh. I'm like literally thinking of like another <laughs> horse statue. <laughs> so <laughs> You're like, there's Mount Rushmore and then next to it, there's just why is there a horse coming out of a mountain now? I'm so confused. <laughs> there's a crazy. demon horse somewhere in the States that make a triangle here. This has to link up somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my parents went and seen Mount Rushmore and honestly, it wasn't anything that crazy to me. Um, I, I, I've, I've seen, I, I've been to Yellowstone and saw Old Faithful. That honestly, Old Faithful was cool. Like seeing geysers. I don't know. It was something that was just like completely new to me. Like I come from swamplands. Like there's nothing shooting up out of the fucking earth. So like to see it like just shoot way high in the sky, I was just like, I was blown away. You've never, I, you've never seen a fountain before. <laughs> yeah, I've seen those stupid Disney fountains. It's not the same. It's just not. And, whoa, whoa, we're gonna get Joe back on here, man. <laughs> huh? You better tell him those fountains are good, boy. I was going to say, Mickey, Mickey, he's a, he appears to, the door just slowly opens. He pops out. Oh, Josh, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> felt the chills, man. Jeez. Um, but yeah, as, as far as that, like I, w- I would really just like, mo- most of the places I do want to go to are like out of, out of state or uh, yeah, out of the states and in, into different countries. Like I want to go to Peru want to like see Machu Picchu. Yeah. I want to go see like all the like cool 
the old ancient civilization type shit. Not nothing here that's been buried or hidden from us. Bro, I'm gonna go find the Mayans. Yeah, it's possible. No, nah, they're not even on Earth anymore, dude. You don't know, man. Maybe they're under. Maybe they're living under this the Sphinx of Giza. Maybe all ancient civilizations were just thrown under there, and like it could be, man. It could be. It could be like the the gateway to the center of the Earth with Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Gateway to the center. I've never seen this movie. No, it's a journey to the center of the earth. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know why uh, they, they journeyed down the I I don't know. Yeah, but with Brandon Fraser, I thought that was a rock. No, it was Brandon Fraser. Yeah. Dude, journey to the center of the earth? That was Brendan Fraser. I'm pretty sure that was the rock. All right, yeah. D- Dakota's gonna Google it here and, and let us know in case anyone else is as confused as me. 2008 film. That's Brendan Fraser, homie. I don't know what I'm thinking of. There was one where he's, it's not, I don't know. Now I don't know. Yeah, that's Brandon Frazier. All right. Brandon Frazier. Wait, was there a second one? Was the rock in number two? Uh, no. Is this, is this true? I don't is think there is. Wow. Cause, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what movie I'm thinking of then. I, I'm really bad with... Uh... Oh, shit. No, it was. You're right. <laughs> the oh. Rock has been turning to the center of the earth, too. Brendan Fraser, okay. number one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I've never seen the one with Brendan Fraser. I, I, I've seen bits and pieces of the one with The Rock, but I never actually watched it all. So I, I don't really know what it is, but um, I, I just yeah. remember the name. So We need to get Brendan Fraser on here. That'd be cool. I'd love to talk to him. He's a good dude. For sure. George of the Jungle was like one of my all time favorite movies as a kid. Dude, he was in so many movies when I was a kid. He was. Yeah. I, I like, uh, so I mean, I'm not, if, if you guys know me, I, I don't like roller coasters like much at all. But I've been on the mummy a few times and it's always cool just seeing him on there because he's yeah. a part of the part of the ride and like the little uh, scene that comes up. But. He's just he's just always on the ride, Brendan Fraser. He's, he never gets to leave. <laughs> there was a, a time, I think when it first opened, and I think again on the f- whatever year anniversary it was of the ride, he was like at that point, like he was actually standing mm-hmm. there. So when people came up, he's like, ah! like just screaming, <laughs> like messing with them. And everyone's like, oh my God, it's Brendan <laughs> Fraser. <laughs> That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, so that, that's really cool. But honestly, like Brendan Fraser to me is always just George of the Jungle. Like he he's never anything else. Like I I've completely wiped any and all movies out of my memory. Granted, like I've watched. He was like the a, Mummy. It was like I know. Granted, mummy. granted, I've watched the Mummy and all. Like I just I don't know. There's it's just like a blurry face there for me. Anybody could play that you just, part. You just you just like seeing him in a loincloth. That's why. That's that's valid. Now, Brendan Fraser, if you're listening. I want, I well, watched actually, the, if you're watching, because the, the I just first winked. episode spoiler alert, first episode of Doom Patrol, you see his butt, like bare ass cheeks, and I watched it with Jordan, and I I, I popped on, and I was like, "Hey, Brendan Fraser booty," <laughs> I was like, "Oh, that's how you know this shit's gonna be good." <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think the uh, only male booty I have ever gotten excited for was in Firefly with Nathan Mc Nathan McFillion Nathan Fillion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a, okay. It's, a, it's a solid man ass right there, dude. We we should get him too. Talk about oh, I, I def I definitely want to get him on. Like I I fucking love. Yeah, him. yeah, that'd be cool. Does He's the dead. voice of Caden in Destiny? Does the which is honestly like the most badass character? And spoiler in alert, Destiny, dies so quickly. Yeah. But, wow, uh, sick, dude. Yeah. I mean, he's 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 so good. I love that's Castle. Like, you're that, about that's to the tell best me TV you're... show. Now you're going to tell me Ned Stark's not going to be the one on the throne or some shit. Like what? Maybe. Why did you pause? Well, I had to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, I didn't, didn't want to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. As far as uh, states go, though. Um, yeah, there's no, no one state I, I care to particularly visit more than any other. Wow, that um, hurts. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I give you all the reasons to come to Florida. You don't want to come see me. <laughs> but yeah, because you don't want to see me. I, dude, I, I will welcome you with arms wide open, like Creed. 
with arms wide open. (laughs) (laughs) Which the video was filmed in Universal. So I could take you to the places and and show you. Oh, Universal Studios, Kansas. Yeah. Universal Studios, Kansas. The (laughs) place that does not exist. (laughs) You you don't know that. It's right there. I swear. Oh, Disney's from here. Oh, Oh, (laughs) jeez. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I mean, I, I don't ever. Uh, what's the word? I don't ever. Uh, whatever. To, I'm a dumb it down. I, I don't ever support anybody going to uh, go, going to Disney. I think Universal's much better, especially if you want to have a good time. And now we have the endorsement that pops up in the sh- in the little episode with like a sprinkles and Universal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if, if fucking uh, Tinkerbell goes by and the Universal logo drops down. <laughs> I'm like, my mouth is open. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Fun Spot, <laughs> where you can be a kid. Um, yeah, so I <laughs> you can be a kid. <laughs> yeah, it's. It, Huge. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's the only thing I, I know that Fun Spot says. Um, and I fucking don't have anything else to say as far as where I would like to travel. I mean, out of out of country, fucking just about. What anywhere. would you like? What would you like to do? Or what? What? What could you do? I have the drugs this league. So what do you got? <laughs> the drugs this league. Um. So I mean, one thing I would definitely like to do, and more so because I I. The only time I've ever been out of the country, I went to the Dominican Republic. And one of the the most amazing things that to this day stick with me is going to see the people of like villages and stuff, things that are like kind of aside from tours and all that bullshit, going and talking with actual locals, Mm -hmm. talking like more so hanging out with the kids and and like talking to them about how, how they grow up and things like that. Because man, so many of them, like they're just, they, they touch my heart, man. They're, they're, they're such good kids, good people that like, they see the good and all, no matter what they got. And like what they got is, was so minimal dude. And like, it, it makes you, makes you uh, take for granted a lot of what you have and, and appreciate a lot of what you do have. Um, so I, I, I fucking, that, that's what I would go for because I, I feel like that would help me make, uh, help make me a better person overall. All right. Wow. Just try to one up me with my drug stuff. That's fucked up. Well, I mean, that, that's I can literally hang out and do that with the kids while checking on my drugs. <laughs> Dude, if it makes you feel any better, I, uh, I wow. bought drugs off one of the hotel employees. At I thought Brown you were State. about to say one. I thought you were about to say one of the kids, and I was. Just... <laughs> I was about to be like, no, all right, we're done. Later, <laughs> Thanks for coming to this episode. <laughs> hey, uh, little Tony, you, 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 Tute Tony, you got some drugs I can <laughs> Tute Tony. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, yeah. uh, shit, dude. I, yeah, I mean, no, I definitely didn't, but I did get in trouble with uh, some of the locals because apparently you're not supposed to give them money, whatever, because it, Influctuates the balance of their economy. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck ever. I want this these kids to like go get whatever they want or provide for their families for once or something, you know. So you gave money to the kids and they went home to their families, and all of a sudden those families were now the rulers of the land because they were just richer than everybody. I'd like to think so, yeah. But that's all right. Never mind. All right, cool. Yeah, good job. I, uh, you know, that that's if that happened i at least liberated those few families they didn't. The, the no, others got you fucked didn't. but some of them you got liberated not. and put you in control <laughs> yeah you just put them in control and they're in the same situation just now shitting on everybody else i, I that's a better scenario than being shit on is it not no they weren't getting shit on before there was nobody shitting on them now they're sh- doing the shitting <laughs> It's actually the other families. <laughs> <laughs> and this and this is why Josh is not allowed to go back to the Dominican Republic. <laughs> yeah, I uh I crossed cross that country off my list. I'm good. I think I've done the majority of things to do there. So all the other all the other countries listening are like looking at down, they like hold a piece of paper and they're like, Nope, Josh is not allowed in now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, put this guy on the uh, travel ban list. Uh, <laughs> He's not allowed in. That's a fat no. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I uh, unfortunately I, I failed miserably in geography, like miserably. I wouldn't yeah. say I failed, but I was not good. Yeah. No, I, I didn't even try for the most part. Honestly, I can like, tell you if it's like left on the map or right. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll be honest. West, for a long South. time, I thought Tennessee was the capital of Florida, not Tallahassee. Yeah, that's how bad it was. So, <laughs> if that's any consolation to my IQ, so be it. <laughs> that's uh, why we're here, folks. Mindless. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to scratch that out of this edit. Um, <laughs> um I don't know him. He doesn't. He really doesn't. He's never met me in his life. I don't I don't know this guy. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> he, do, he doesn't I'm actually from, see me. I'm from Tallahassee and he just took us off the map. <laughs> <laughs> we don't exist anymore. Um, just fucking, <laughs> he just Thanos snapped me out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> He's like my, my globe consists of like a very small portion of Florida, a little bit of Dominican Republic, and the rest could just be fucking water for all I know. (laughs) (laughs) You you have like a squiggly big like land over there that just says (laughs) everywhere else. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Basically, that's exactly it. Nice. Uh, So yeah, with that, fucking uh, I'm retarded (laughs) and that's it. So uh twitch we have been on twitch uh, a few times now uh not not too much lately it's been a busy week but we uh plan to continue playing games and i found out lo and behold well i don't know if i should say it maybe xbox will like take it away fuck it i have uh xbox game pass i thought i had canceled it and for the longest time apparently i still have it checked my bank statements on across all my cards and it's not being charged by microsoft so yeah scott's free uh you know i'm playing games so come play games with us we are on twitch we don't really have any kind of set schedule as of right now um we already have a hard time keeping up with our schedules together because they clash kind of with uh dakota's work and uh, my, my busy family life and everything else I got to do on the side. So I thought you were going to say keeping up with the Kardashians. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That too. Cause I like watching that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cause I like watching that. Yeah. No, that that's uh, come no. keep up with us and the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm a, <laughs> no, 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 I'm a kid. <laughs> I just like, might have to use somebody for my next mashup. Oh, oh uh, I, Whatever, like, either or that you choose, I'm just going to draw whatever tune with a big ass. That's it. That's what I was thinking. And, like, just popping that bottle, that image where the bottle shoots up into the glass on the booty. I didn't say I was going to use Kim. It doesn't matter. I mean, don't they all have big butts, honestly? One one is uh one is OJ Simpson's daughter, I think. It, uh I don't know. Damn, I don't know their name. I obviously I know Kim. Courtney. Is Courtney like the uh I think she's the, the younger oldest. one? Oh she's older. No. Courtney Who's the one with the dude named Scott? Oh Travis Scott. I don't know, Kylie or Kendall, one of those two. No, it wasn't those uh, either. Those two. Those are the two youngest ones. No, and, no, I'm not talking and then about those. And then there's Kim, Chloe, and Courtney. Yeah, I'm pretty. I don't oh, know. Oh, and Rob. Oh, yeah, with that guy's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I only it's knew. I only knew all of the names because Josh told me them before this recording. Just so you guys. Know. Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think stop. It, stop it, <laughs> stop it. I think it's Courtney though. Um, I'd have to verify. 
Uh, but yeah, I, one of them, one of them is OJ's kid, or allegedly is OJ's kid, or something. Well, the one I think is OJ's kid is uh, I, I think I believe to be Chloe. Um, you said Courtney. I think it's no, Chloe. But I was gonna say Courtney is the one that, like, out of the three of them, I think is like the most level-headed and definitely the hottest one of them all. I but wouldn't say level. Don't don't but, don't yeah. quote me on it because I, I have to verify these names, all these K's. I, I don't know. I think Courtney starts with a Q. Courtney. <laughs> quartz knee. <laughs> I have a knee made of quartz. Quart- quartz knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we need to end this. <laughs> yeah, we do. All right. Um, so with that said, we're gonna end it with quartz knee and <laughs> the drug cis league. So <laughs> <laughs> and there's your title, folks. That's it. That's Cheers. It. For- and uh, stay mindless. Stay mindless, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Mindless Morning Show. We appreciate you picking us out of the many great podcasts out there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to get notified whenever we release a new episode or bonus content. Now go enjoy the rest of your mindless day.